Hello, thank you for visiting my website and for visiting this page and wanting to know a little bit more about the DNA health scans. In this video, I just want to delve into a little bit about how it works, simply in layman's terms, what we can look at, some samples of things that I've treated and also what you need to do if you want to book and have one done. So basically, everything in the universe resonates at a certain frequency. So if we have a healthy organ, it will resonate at a certain frequency. If it's diseased or it's unhealthy, it will resonate at a different frequency. So what the machine does is it's programmed with the, the healthy frequencies of all the organs, tissue, cells of the body. So basically, we have a DNA sample and that goes into the DNA reading machine. And then we have software that we use. And that software will send the frequencies of the healthy skin, the healthy tissues, the healthy cells and the organs to the DNA sample. From that, it receives feedback. And that feedback is what I'm looking at and what I'm reading and getting my results from and I'm analysing. So when we get a base scan done, we can then see roughly what's going on in the body. But from that base scan, we can start delving deeper so we can start looking at pathological problems. Now, what do I mean by pathological problems? Well, that's any health conditions, diseases, illnesses of the body. Um, we can look at all sorts from skin right down to internal organs, to joints, everything. We can literally start looking at right down to a cellular level. So not just looking at the intestines, but we can go into the wall of the colon, the wall of the small intestine. We can go into the gallbladder and liver, the tissues of the liver. So we can look at everything from an organ perspective and at a cellular level as well. So it goes very deep. We also can look at the overall energy of an organ, but then we look at, we can then look at a cellular level energy of that organ as well. So we're looking at both types of, of energies. So once I'm starting to look at pathological issues, we can then look at things like microorganisms. What do I mean by microorganisms? Well, that's anything from like worms, parasites, bacteria, viruses, funguses, molds, anything like that that's living inside this host of a body. Um, when we think about microorganisms and people go, yeah, but I worm my animal, I worm my horse, I worm my dog. What you have to understand about parasites, worms, microorganisms, bacteria, viruses, funguses, is they migrate and they live within tissues and cells of the body. So we may do like a, um, a wormer, but that's going to work on an intestinal, gastrointestinal level. If the parasites have decided to migrate to the liver, or to another part of the body, then we're not going to cover that. Also, these worms can become resistant if we're using the same types of wormer over and over. So we think we're doing the job of worming them and we're actually not. Same with viruses and bacteria; They can literally migrate anywhere in the body, you know, up into the brain, in the heart, in the lungs. They can migrate anywhere. So it's really important that we check regularly, even if we're worming on a regular worming protocol, that we check to see what kind of pathogens and, and microorganisms are actually in this body. Then we can look at allergens. Um, allergens can be anything from food, household, um, allopathic, which is medicines, um, plants. We can look at all types of allergens and see if there's anything that's causing a problem or weakening the system of the body. And then once we've got a list, we can remove those and help to strengthen the immune system and the system of the body. Um, we can look at so many different things within this body. Also, what I can do with the machine is if your animal is on um, supplements then if you send me those supplements or a sample of those supplements I can test them with the machine to see if they're having a positive strengthening effect on the body or a weakening effect that way you can work out if it's the right supplement for your animal if you're wasting your money or if actually it's beneficial and then you don't mind spending the money but at least that way you know these are the right things for my animal and it's actually helping as opposed to me spending however much a month and it's not actually helping the other thing I can do is I can create remedies on the machine. So what we do is the machine's programmed with all different types of remedies from homeopathics to bark flower. Um, you've got plant remedies. I've even got all the allopathic drugs, the frequencies that these programmed into the machine. So anything from antibiotics to pain relief, we have everything, bronchial dilators, everything. And what I can do is I can program these little sugar pills with the energy and the frequency of that particular allopathic drug or the bark flower or whatever it is we're doing. 
when you when you give that to your animal, your animal's body responds as if it's taking that particular drug or remedy. Um, but it doesn't have the toxic side effects that you would get. So for the horse owners out there, the ones that have got horses that are in a lot of butte um, or Danilon, you know, it's really, really taxing on the kidneys and the liver. But what we can do is we can create like a, an NSAID, like, a, you know, an anti-inflammatory pain relief energetic complex that you can give to your horse that means you can reduce down that dose of butte sometimes i've got animals that have come completely off of that pain relief and they're just on the sugar pills and it's seeing them through amazingly um, and that way it's not taxing on the organs and, and the body um, so that's another massive benefit to give you a couple of examples of things that I've worked with, um, I've had a horse that I work with um, where, so I work on horses in a sports therapy, um, rehab, trauma release, energy work, um, and animal communication type way on, on my clients that I go out and visit and do the physical work. Um, and on those ones, if I've ever had to do hair scans, I had one horse that I worked on that was diagnosed as being asthmatic, was on two different types of inhalers. But when I was working with her energetically, I thought, this is not, doesn't feel asthmatic. So the owner's like, take a hair sample, let's have a look. And when we delved deeper, what we found was, firstly, there was an allergy to polyester and a couple of foods as well. So what we did was we eliminated as much polyester as we could from in her in enclosed environment. Obviously, most things contain polyester, especially with horses, you know, it's, it's, it's a tough one to remove. But if we can lessen the load on the body of what polyester is around her, so for example, the rugs were hanging in the stable. So we took the rugs down from the stable, which then meant that that area that was enclosed wasn't full of polyester um the head collar just wearing for leading out bringing in and tying up wasn't on all the time so things simple things like that where we can just make a small change that makes a big difference the other thing that we found on the scan was that there was mold in her lungs there was seven different types of fungus and mold and her prior stable to the one she was in had mold on the walls and so what had happened was this had spawned in the lungs and there were seven different types in there which of course was putting massive pressure on the breathing apparatus so of course it came across as looking like asthma and the pumps will help slightly because it's going to dilate all of the blood vessels and the vessels in the lungs so she can breathe freely but it's not actually dealing with the cause of what the breathing problem was what we did was then deal with the fungus and mold uh, she actually moved stables in the end anyway to a big airy stable no asthma pumps needed no breathing problems happy horse no more allopathic drugs perfect and no more vet bills perfect another example is a dog that i work with she's an older dog um and i worked with her about three years ago and the owner re only reached out because she had terrible terrible trouble she was sick diarrhea and not only that but her back legs had gone so she was struggling to go out on walks and um she'd been diagnosed at the vets with helicobacter pylori which is a really nasty bacteria in her stomach and um they, they were struggling to clear that these joint issues meant she couldn't go out for her walks and basically it was either going to cost thousands and thousands with no guaranteed outcome or have her put to sleep so he reached out in desperation we scanned i found the helicobacter a few other bacteria and, and parasites that were going on saw how inflamed the um, ligaments and the joints were we created a protocol for her um, there was also some food allergies as well so we literally created a diet plan we put her on a detox protocol for the parasites to, to kill off the helicobacter. Um, very quickly, within a week, she'd stopped being sick. She was able to stomach her food. Um, she started to put on weight and feel better. And then over the course of the next couple of weeks, she was then, because we did stuff to help her joints, so she was on like a certain joint supplement. She was on a painkiller that would help her, like an energetic complex of a painkiller to help her. And within a few weeks, she was back out walking. Fast forward three years later, this dog is still living an amazing life, out there running around. The last picture I saw of her, she had this massive branch in her mouth, like bounding across a field, you know, as happy as anything. So this is why I love this work and why I'm so passionate about it, because we can take something that's been missed or not been looked at, um, and the way I do it is I don't look within a box. 
I smash that box out of the way and we look we look at the whole picture we look holistically at this animal it's the whole picture the health history the energy I link in with them I feel what's going on I use the results from the machine and what I'm picking up to come up with the best protocols to help these animals flourish and thrive and that's all I want I want to be there for these the animal kingdom because it doesn't have a voice like we as humans we have a voice we can say i don't feel well or if the the doctors and the hospitals if that's not working right we can voice that with an animal it has no voice so for me one of my passions is being that voice for the animal kingdom where i can help them flourish and thrive in a way that just lights up my soul so because it's dna based this is open to anyone in the world. As long as you have a postal service and you can post to me, it doesn't matter where in the world you are, I can actually work with your animal. Um, and energetically linking in, it doesn't matter where you are in the world, energy doesn't have boundaries. So I can link in with your animal from wherever you are in the world. I have the DNA sample, that's all I need. And from that, we can work out a treatment plan. So if you want to have a scan done, what you would need to do is you would reach out and contact me first. And then what we do is I would then email you a consultation form. Now, the consultation form can be filled out online. You can then either print it off or email it back, whatever you choose to do. Once I've received the form, you need, you need to then send me the hair sample. Um, so that needs to be posted to me. Now, with hair samples, you can do saliva. But if you're posting and it's going to take a few days to get to me, the likelihood is most of that's going to be dried up and it's not going to be the best sample. The best sort of samples are nail clippings or if it's a horse, a little bit of hoof um, or hair, which is much more convenient. So I kind of need like a... I would say like this sort of size, little bit of hair, um, not one strand. One strand is going to be not quite enough, but, you know, I need, a, a, you know, about this sort of much of hair um, sent to me or some nail clippings or both. It doesn't matter. And a, sal a saliva sample if you choose as well. Um, once I've received that, so once I've received your completed form, the DNA sample, and then you send payment, which is done by bank, bank transfer, bank transfer or... Um, PayPal. Once I've received all of those, I can then book in a date for you um, to get the hair scan done. Once I've completed the scan and analysed all of the results and come up with a protocol, I will then drop you a message, a voice message normally, um, or an email with what I've found, um, what my recommendations are, and what sort of protocols we're looking at. If you've got any questions, we can have a phone conversation or you can message me back and let me know if you've got any queries and questions. I can then send you all the links that you need to get the protocol started. And then you start the protocol and you just keep me up to date with what's going on so I can support and help along the way. If we need to tweak or change things, we do that along the way. And then after about three or four months, depending on what we're working with and how, in, and how um, intense the protocol is or the health condition is, we then rescan around three or four months to see what we're doing, what the progress is like, if we need to change anything, if we need to add something into the protocol, take something away and you just carry on. And hopefully your pet, pet becomes healthy and well um, and you won't need to see me again or talk to me again for as long as you need to until you want to do a check again. Some people um, I have, they'll do like yearly checks. Um, if their horses or their animals are really well and healthy, they'll just do an annual check um, just to see how everything's going. Do they need to do a parasite cleanse, like an additional one to the normal worming protocols? Um, it's just really to check the general health. Other people that have got animals with um, more intense health conditions, they might have them done them more regularly. Um, but it's really then left up to you. Once we've done the base scan, I've got the results I need and we've got a protocol going and we've rescanned to check how it's going. From then on, it's really just down to keeping an eye on things, keeping in touch with me and let me know what's going on. So that's how it all works. Hopefully it's given you a little bit more of an insight into it. It's very hard to make a short video about this because of how, in, how incredible this is. But again, it's open to anyone in the world, not just limited to the UK. Anyone from anywhere, as long as you can post me a DNA sample, I can work with it. Um, I haven't found a limit to what type of animal I can work with. If you can get a DNA sample to me, then we can look at and work with pretty much anything. Um, I'm always open to the weird and wonderful. And um, yeah, so thank you again for inquiring. If you want any more information, 
or if you want to get one booked then hit the contact us button um contact me by email or my mobile number and we'll get back to you and we'll get the ball rolling so anyway thank you again take care